The biggest thing I probably do, and I tell this to people who are actually struggling with finding the time to exercise, is I don't drink my calories. And this is probably the biggest thing that I do. You can easily have an extra meal plus a little if you have anything but water every single day and even actually multiple times throughout the day. I think you can you could easily get an extra meal easily. And just a note that I don't actually drink coffee, but if you do and you use like milk, cream, or sugar to just be careful as this can be a particularly big source of hidden calories, especially because a lot of the population seems to need to have caffeine to wake up in the morning. That being said, that exercise can be hard to do these days due to a lack of energy from work. As I said, I pretty much when I'm working, that's all I do. It, it takes all of my spoons. Work is also a factor because there's a lack of time as well. So this helps keep my calories where I won't gain as long as I'm not sitting on my butt all day which my job helps me with because it's a very active job. It's not as active as it could be sometimes. I drink water. This also helps with hunger too, but I drink water and, and I don't drink my calories. I basically pick a day of the week where I want to have something that has a little bit of calories in it. Often it's like a glass of chocolate milk or something, and it's about half of the portion that I know is technically the portion that the jug says is a portion. And if you look at the portion sizes actually on the jug of chocolate milk and you were to have two portions of that, that's an, an that can be like a th two thirds of a meal basically. I think this would be an interesting exercise actually to do for those of you who do like to have something with calories in it, whether it be juices or milk or worse, pops or those kind of things you guys call that soda in the US. I think you'd be surprised if you were to add that up over the course of the day and then add it up over the course of the week and find out how many calories you'd be saving yourself if you switched it for water. That would probably be, if I was to give anyone weight loss advice, where they're strapped for time and struggle with working out, that would be it. You would get a lot of success actually off of that just alone, I think. Even if you didn't have an active job, I think you'd probably get a lot of success with that because you're not taking in those extra calories that aren't making you feel full. 